Thank you, Ruth, and uh, welcome everybody to this annual jamboree of poetry. Uh, my friend Joe Bell, the lovely poet, tweeted me this morning and said, I'm looking forward to the works outing, which is what this is. It's a fantastic time when poets and readers and listeners can all get together and celebrate the fact that we're here to enjoy poetry. Um, the poetry, the T.S. Eliot Prize was set up in uh, 1993 to honour the best book of poetry published in the year. Uh, the Poetry Book Society set it up in 2016. The PBS closed down and transferred the book club to Impress Books and the prize to the T.S. Eliot Foundation, which has taken over the running of the prize, which is a fantastic thing. And thanks very much tonight to the T.S. Eliot trustees who continued the tradition started by Mrs. Valerie Eliot of funding the prize. This year, the prize money is £20,000. That is fantastic. Imagine that. 20,000 moments. 20,000 times you can walk around the garden. 20,000 times you can look out the window. 20,000 times you can sit and look at your notebook and write poems in it. That, and you don't have to think about anything else because it's been paid. And also, the shortlist get £1,500. Again, a generous amount. A generous, generous thing. 1,500 moments when you can just think about poetry. So the format tonight, each poet will read for eight minutes, five poets in the first half, five poets in the second half, a 30-minute interval during which books are on sale downstairs. Then at the end, the poets will be happy to sign their books. That eight minutes doesn't seem long, but it's like, imagine it like a voyage on a ferry to a wonderful island, or perhaps a, a short flight, a short internal flight, where you might encounter some turbulent air, but it's the turbulent air of poetry, so that's all right. You don't have to fasten your seatbelts. You'll be landing soon. Or perhaps a lovely eight-minute rain shower. Not like the rain we had today, but a beautiful eight-minute shower of poetic rain. So to paraphrase our Prime Minister, tonight poetry means poetry. And our first... <laughs> I think that's what she meant, you know. I think that's what she meant. Whether it's hard poetry or soft poetry, we don't know. But this is, um, 